Hello, this is the July 2015 video edition of the Iowa General Fund Monthly Revenue Memo. My name is Jeff Robinson, Senior Fiscal Analyst for the Iowa Legislative Services Agency, the nonpartisan support agency of the Iowa Legislature. This video will cover Iowa Net General Fund Revenue for the month of July 2015, and I will also review the recent history of an index of Iowa's economic performance when compared to all 50 states. Iowa net general fund revenue increased $1.1 million in July when compared to July 2014, a percentage increase for the month of 0.3%. Gross receipts for the month increased $24 million or 5.1%, led by a 6.4% increase in personal income tax deposits. However, the growth in gross receipts was almost entirely offset by increases in personal income tax refunds, sales and use tax refunds, and transfers out to the school infrastructure sales tax fund. Since July is the initial month of the fiscal year, the monthly and fiscal year to date analysis is the same. For a longer term look, I present this graph of Iowa net general fund revenue history. On the right hand axis, a red marker indicates the revenue level necessary to reach the current fiscal year 2016 estimate. The fiscal year 2016 net revenue estimate represents a projected increase of about $400 million when compared to the 12 months that ended June 2015. There are very few widely available and long-term state-by-state -state indicators of relative economic performance. One organization that does produce such an in indicator is the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia. They produce a monthly coincident index for each of the 50 states. The state indices combine four state level variables to produce a single indicator of that state's current economic conditions. The variables are all employment related and include non-farm payroll employment, average hours worked in manufacturing, the unemployment rate, and inflation adjusted wage disbursements. For this graph, I have first calculated the 12-month moving average of each state's index value. This removes the significant variability shown in the monthly data. I then calculated the 12-month percent change in that average and finally ranked the states according to each state's percentage growth in the index value. What is presented in the graph is a 25-year history of Iowa's rank in this percentage growth statistic. The horizontal red line depicts a rank of 25 of the 50 states. A rank above 25 means Iowa had a faster growing index than the average state, and a rank below 25 indicates an index growing slower than average. The graph indicates that the performance of the Iowa economy relative to the other states has been declining recently, from a rank of 30 for June 2014 to a rank of 38 now. With the exception of Illinois, the ranking of Midwest states and the ranking of several energy producing states have declined over the past year. To summarize, July 2015 was a slightly positive net revenue month, although gross deposits did increase a solid 5.1%. Increased tax refunds brought the net revenue increase down to a mildly positive reading of 0.3%. The Philadelphia Federal Reserve Bank's State Economic Indicator Series shows that when ranked against the economic performance of other states, Iowa has been declining in a relative performance over the past year, something that is also true of many states with a high level of commodity price exposure. I very much appreciate your time and your interest in Iowa General Fund revenue. Goodbye, have a great summer, and please check out the next monthly video memo that will be posted in early September.